two pints and a pupper. Well, that's your test of true friendship. So you'd have two pints with him. Oh, I'd have to mind you, pupper. I've got mates who wouldn't have one pint with you. <laughs> Summer! Yeah, hello, uh, ambulance, please. So that's a tuna melt and hot water for Gloria. What? Go on. If my dad was here, you'd say we missed a trick there. Tuna melt. Would you like any fries with that? Or a nice crisp salad? Right. The hot water. We have some lovely fruit teas. How about a decaf? Upselling. We don't do that. Roy might not. But... You've been coming here long enough. That's not how we roll. Well, there's no harm in trying. Let me take the next order. Look, I need to earn my place behind the counter. Literally. <laughs> not like that. Glory's been bobbing in for years. She has a favourite table, always picks a chatty spoon and stays for an hour or so, sometimes more. You watch, she'll have half the tuna melt now. Then she'll say she's full, so I'll box it up. Ready to take her? For tonight. And the hot water? Free. Coffee's £1.35. I get you. Don't want to price her out. I'm not saying your dad's right or wrong, No, but... no. It's cool. Just a different business model. Can you believe this, Gloria? The new girl giving me lip. Ugh, oh, call that lip. Yeah, wait until she sees me really get going. <laughs> suspended coffee for Gloria. What? A suspended coffee. Have you not seen it on Insta? Is that something you drink on a swing? <laughs> Asher donates the price of a drink. Roy pins a ticket to the board. Nina comes in, down. Dumped, depressed, no dosh. Sounds about right. Takes a ticket off the board, orders a coffee, gets hugging a mug. Hugging a mug? Genius. Tell Roy, full of ideas. You should give me a job. What the heck? Could have told me you were going to do a runner. What is that? I had to put my trainers on. I hate that hot pot anyway. Say it, it's fine. Say it. I told you so. Peter. Look, I thought dragging you around a wonky stately home was going to do the trick. You thought you could handle a trip to the Rovers. All today goes to prove is that nobody knows anything. OK, you just got to trust. This phase, I know it sucks. But you've got to keep playing ball. Just going for your blood tests. You look really clammy. It's OK, look, just... just stop. I'm fine. I think you should take your dose now. It's stashed in No, no, no. It's too soon for me to take that. Well, you look terrible. I'm going to ring the alcohol liaison nurse. No, she won't talk to you. They only talk to the it patients. It doesn't matter, she Peter. It doesn't matter. I'll FaceTime her, OK? She can see the state of you. And then... And then... Listen, I, I don't want to scare you, darling, but... If you're headed towards another seizure, then... I'm not, Carla. I'm rattling. That's why I'm sweating. OK? I'm in withdrawal. That whiskey, my dad's been measuring for me. Yeah, and watching you drink. Well, that's just the thing. After watching me the first time, it nearly broke him. He couldn't bring himself to do it again. So he's been pouring it, and then he's been leaving, and I've been pouring it straight down the sink. Sorry. Oh, I'm so cold. Do we want a hot sweet tea? Well, that'll make it all right. She's just trying to feel useful. Silly cow. Who knows how long that little rat was up there on his own with Summer? She couldn't have been in the flat for longer than a minute. We just had a chat just there about why she was home early and how Paul had got on in the court case this morning, etc. And you really didn't hear anything from upstairs? No, I had my headphones on. I was warbling. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. We came around the corner and the lad, he was stood right there. What age? What was he wearing? It's all a blur. 15, 16. Black hoodies, black trackies, the usual. You spend a lot of time visiting schools. Did you recognise him? Well, I would now. I looked him dead in the eye. Listen, I, I need to go. She's only allowed one person with her, so... We'll see you at the hospital. I, I hope she's OK. Thanks. Just breathe, mate. You're in shock. You'll be all right. Yeah, well, she, though. Say it. Say you hate me. All weekend, you've been withdrawing from the one thing that'll prevent you from having another seizure. Because
because I don't want to die, Carl. But they told you not even a week ago. One more drink will kill you. That's what they said to me. That was back in 2014. And I've thought about that for the last seven years. And now suddenly, you all expect me to trust the process. OK, I get it. I've come this far. I've made this massive commitment, Carla, that I'm never going to let a drop of alcohol touch yeah. my lips again. And now we're asking you to completely go against that, and it is cruel, I know. Cruel? It's suicidal. If I start drinking again, I won't be able to stop. I'm powerless. One glass. That won't be enough for me. Peter, you proved that's not true. You proved it on Friday. <sighs> I'm so tired. Then let us carry you. OK, me, your family, your mates. Come on, we've got really broad shoulders. We can do that. You can sweet talk me, you can guilt trip me, you can blackmail me all you like. But this programme is just setting me up to Who's fail. You're shaking. What else have you got, Cramp? Yeah. Are you hallucinating? No. No, but you will be, won't you, if we don't do something? Why didn't you tell me? Because you had a chance to leave. Um, you should have taken it. I chose to stay because we promised we'd be straight with each other. I'm sorry. You've just been straight with me. So that's good. That's good. I'm going to go over to Roy's and get the whiskey and... No, then I'm, no. You're going to do what the doctors tell you or we're done. OK, that's your call. Mm. Listen. First time all day. Yeah, it's me. Trial shift and I've driven them all away. Mm. Yeah, shame on you. You've broke Roy's rolls. Mm. Uh, red chopping board. Me? Top of the class. Mm, I wish. But you think I'm a right dunce? You? Yeah. Over Corey. You know, he's a clown and nasty with it. It's crazy about him. You've never been a dunce in your life. Apart from the time that I tried to bleach myself white. Mm. All the time I took my kit off and it went viral. you sensitive. Whole other ball game. Oh, and the time that I puked all over Zoe Barrow's Balenciagas at a Sweet 16th birthday party. Mm. The wire brush of doubt. Don't let it. Scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. Don't be hesitant. It's stressing me out. In the ambulance, where's she making sense? Oh, I did most of the talking. She's trying to keep her awake. She couldn't even tell me where she was hurting. What a day. I thought your sentencing was bad enough. But I'd rather have gone to jail than this. It could have been worse, I suppose. I mean, she did disturb a burglar. I think she had the nouse to get away. It wasn't a burglar. Yeah, cool. Good man. Hey, and uh, thanks for bringing me back so quickly. See ya. That was Ed. Asked them to give the flat bills once over. I didn't even think. You had other things to worry about. The street door's not too bad, but the um, flat door probably got booted in. Ed can make it safe. It was a burglary, no doubt. See? The doctor's just come out of Summer's cubicle. I think she's done checking her over. Come on. You care about her and all. I'm sorry, it just came over me. John O'Donoghue. <laughs> he has that effect. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Kissing me? Why? I'm not repulsive. No, no. I, I crossed a line. There is no line. Not between me and you. Your father would not approve. I'm not sure whether Field High would either, working in your uniform. It's grease, bleach, tomato ketchup, hazards a legion. I didn't have time to get changed. The lunchtime queue was out the door. We were rushed off our feet. I really needed her help. The customer's lover. It's in the jeans. Well, I would dispute the notion of uh, an innate propensity for customer service, but... She's joking, Roy. Cut to the chase. Does she get her own penny or not? Uh, I'll put the order in later. At minimal shifts, fitted around your schoolwork, to be agreed with Dev. 
This calls for a celebration smoother. <laughs> I'll do yours to take with you back to school. And Roy, you in? <laughs> Don't count the hours till tea time. Live a little. Oi, I swear you're fiddling these orders. How come I always get constitution ill? What number? 52. Oh, it could be worse. It could be 54. Or... Sorry, why did I lend you that cash again, <laughs> mate? All right? All right. You used to know each other? Not especially. Just started. Jacob's a good lad. He's got my back. Hmm, is that right? Yeah. You know, we have a laugh. Beats sweating in the kitchen. Nights I want to work, I work. Nights I want to chill, I chill. <gasps> Hashtag goals. Ever fancy a takeaway? DM me. Get your mates right. From you and Jacob? I'll leave it to her. Mind was working overtime. Brain damage, broken bones, the works. Yeah, a bit of concussion and a sprained wrist seems like a result. I'd still rather be taking her home. To what, though? I'm keeping her in for observation. It might be a blessing in disguise if what Ed said is true. Yeah, we only bobbed his head upstairs. He didn't do full inspection. Damage might not be that bad. The way our look's going today, I want to hold my breath. Oh, come on. I need to go and face the music. Someone needs an overnight bag. What? I can get us a cab. Actually, yeah. Uh... Kind of fancied walking. I need to clear my head. Actually, yeah, I could, um, yeah. Probably do stretch my legs as well. I'll, um, be right behind you. I kind of wanted to talk to you. I can't stop him. He's been a star today. Two pints and a puppy star. Come on. When you get this message, you ring me. Right, I got another job for you. Because today was a car crash, literally. I need my prints wiped off this mess. I need to see you on your own. No excuses. To us. Oh, the piano. Hello, it's Craig. All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Craig. Hello, Craig. I'm gonna go back down again once you've seen it. Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. Who would do something like this? Only had it three days. Paul surprised us. You should have seen someone's face. I mean, look at us. We don't have a lot of cash to flash about. We live a modest life. Why would we be targeted? An opportunity. What, a flat above a shop with only one way in or out? No car worth nicking parked outside? Right, well, can you tell me what's been taken? Mm. Nothing, as far as I can see. Paul, you didn't leave your wallet lying around, did you? Or well, there's someone's laptop, money box. It wasn't a burglary. 100%. How oh, can you be so sure? Because I know who did this. That lad outside? Why didn't you say? He's Will. Will? Now, isn't he the lad who just... The lad from the helpline. His stepdad had beat up. Yeah, except it wasn't his stepdad. All right, well, how come you're still in touch? Yeah, Paul. How come? I'm not. I wasn't. He's trouble. He knows we're not worth robbing. He's done this to get back at me. Yeah, so I went out on my dinner. I had the poor pharmacist demented. He was up and down his ladder till he found some. They are not the flimsy ones that I've had before, either. They're proper industrial strength, like you're wearing a factory. Are you trying to say my snores are industrial strength? The only trouble is, what if I sleep through the alarm? I'll have to be careful of that. Perfect. Oh! Oh! Sorry. Yeah, uh, sorry. I was in the bath. I left my phone. It's all right. I've just remembered that I'd meet a uh, pint for a cup, so I'm going to... Tyrone! Calendar said swimming. I thought you'd all be out. Oh, yeah, Evelyn took him. And now I've chased your men away and you're all on your own. I'm so sorry. I'll go up and get dressed. No, don't you apologise, love. <sighs> Everything you're thinking, I've already thought myself. I couldn't hate myself more. Billy. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't even scratch the surface. I told you. Yeah, you did. And you knew it was trouble. 
You knew about the guidelines around safeguarding. I told him. I said, add Jay only from now on. Too little, too late. You'd already given him our address. I never! What else did you give him? The password to the Wi-Fi, the key to someone's piggy bank. I swear, I have no idea how he found us. He must have followed me home from the hub. What was it that judge called you? A threat to the wider public. Stuff that, you're a threat to your own family. How was I supposed to know he'd react like this? He's a damaged child! And so am I! I never do something this cruel! I mean, wait, you're right, I mean, he... I knew he was dangerous, that's why I tried to put some distance between I'll us. I'll save it. While you're stood there trying to justify yourself, someone's laid up in hospital on her own, waiting for a proper pair of pyjamas. Look, I'll come with you. No, can... no. You will stay here and clean up this mess. Your mess! And then we need to work out how we stop this Will from doing it again. Oh, you should come on, you should. Well, it should last us a week. Oh, I brought some treats. Ah, oh, you remembered. Yeah. And I phoned electricity source and they're setting us up a plan for what we owe, so you don't need to worry. What? Yep, yeah, and they're giving us a prepayment meter. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot easier to budget. Sigh. What? <laughs> Respect. Respect? Seriously, I'm impressed. Stick the kettle in, eh? We'll crack open them sharp reds. Oh, I can't. I've only nipped back between deliveries. Are you right to put this lot away? Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Well, let me know if you're staying up. I'll bring us back some chips. They let me and Jacob clear out the cabinet when it's time to turn the fryers off. What would I do without you, eh? You're a legend. I know. Heavy as a head that wears the crown. <laughs> See you later. See you in a bit. So you found a job and did your homework. Boom, let's keep it that way. And uh, clearly worked up an appetite. Cafe's a doddle compared to the kebab shop. How was my veggie lasagna? Great. Thank you. Yeah, good. Only good, honey? She means not as tasty as Roy's. I've not tried Roy's lasagna. Well, he didn't feed you. Call that hospitality. Well, there wasn't time. Yeah, but you discussed breaks, right? And legal rights, health and safety. No? Did you have a formal induction? Nina showed me how to use a tin opener. Yeah. But we're just having a laugh, Dad. What, you and Roy? No, me and Nina. Well, Roy just left us to it. You think he's uptight, but he actually trusts his staff. It's pretty chill. Oh, it's chill. The time just flew by. Yeah. Everybody, uh... Decent, yeah. You can come in, coast clear. Honestly, Ty, talk about a flipping overreaction. Well, I don't want people thinking I'm some dirty old perv. And that we only invited Alina to stay because... You only invited Alina to stay. Well, you agreed, because we felt sorry for her. But I'll tell you what, when she came tripping down in that towel, I mean, it wasn't much bigger than a flannel. I didn't know where to put my face. Well, she's continental. They like walking around in the nuddy. Honestly, you'll have to get used to it. What? I think, give it a week, we'll all be at it. I mean, what are clothes, anyway? They're just big, giant labels that pin folk down. What are you...? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have a word with her. Or you could tell her yourself. You can come in, Alina. FYI, is like a bat. I wasn't listening to another. Do us a favour, love, will you? Put Tyrone out of his misery. He doesn't want to see you in a towel again, said no straight man ever. It's... No, I'm not being... Pr or anything, you know, I'm just... And I love baths, me. Baths are great. And I'm, I'm not dissing your culture or anything like that. But is it appropriate, you know, with the family and the girls and... I give you my word, it won't happen again. From now on, I'll borrow Evelyn's house coat. <laughs> Don't think about it. That's what my dad said. Carla, I'm standing on the edge of a cliff here and you're telling me to jump out. Can I not think about it? This monster in front of me, it's wrecked my life time and time again. And now you expect me to think he's going to save me. Peter, do it. That's 50 mils. You're never going to have to drink 50 Come mils of whiskey again, this day ever. After yes, day. Yes, you can because it will get easier. I can't do this to you. This is not fair. What option do we have, Peter? I'll speak to the alcohol liaison nurse and I'll tell her that I'm not coping. I'll tell her we're not coping. They can't give you drugs, okay? Not while there's alcohol I'm not in your system. About drugs. What then? Detox? Because even if you'd agreed to that, they told you before there's no beds. Well, I'll beg them then. 
Oh, well, I'll get down on my knees and I'll beg them, you need to take me to hospital. They need to see for themselves what state I'm in here, don't they? OK, OK, I'll get you close. No, 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 now. No, we have to go now before I change my mind. Come. Can't you get anything right? I didn't know she'd turn up at the flat. What did you do to her? Nothing. She's not my type. Don't get smart. It doesn't suit you. She's a sweet kid. She'll take this to heart. What did you expect me to do? Ask her to make me a brew? Look, she saw me, panicked, and then just legged it. What's the big deal? You got what you wanted, and I gave them a scare. You gave me a scare. Two seconds earlier, she could have been a goner. And is the vicar blaming you for that? No. He'll blame his fella. You hope. But where's that burner? Where's my 50 quid? Right. Pick a bin, any bin, and just get rid. Delete all messages first. Anything that links you to me or Paul. I don't want to ever hear from you again, do you get me? I do one. Or oh, what? Or oh, you'll be the next one dodging traffic. On the M62. been affected by issues raised in tonight's programme, you can visit icb.com slash advice for support information.